This is the third playlist I've produced containing completely free educational algo trading tutorials on the Darwin X channel. This particular playlist specifically focuses on advanced MQL5 coding techniques, and it contains several key coding tutorials that could completely revolutionize the way that you both backtest and also trade using your expert advisors. So many traders have been in touch to say that they've implemented the techniques that I cover in this playlist into their own expert advisors and are already seeing the benefits of doing this. And so if this sounds like it might be useful to you, then let me take you through an overview of everything the tutorials have to offer so that you can then prioritize your own training path. I'd say that in terms of the feedback that I have received, it's the very first technique that I covered in episode one that seems to have had the most impact with the traders that have watched it. So let me give you an overview. In this episode, I cover the concept of a multi-symbol expert advisor and start by looking at the huge benefits you can get by taking this approach. Firstly, you can significantly increase the statistical significance of your backtesting and optimization processes, because now instead of just optimizing on a single symbol, you can optimize on any number. And so the results you get will be much less prone to random chance and more on the actual performance of the parameters that you're testing. But of course, by having this capability within your expert advisor also means that you can use it in live trading. So instead of running 15 different EAs on 15 charts, you can now trade 15 symbols all from the same EA instance. After this introduction into the benefits, I then take you through a detailed coding tutorial telling you everything you need to know about how to implement this in your own expert advisors. Now, it's possible to get an idea of whether traders on the Darwin X platform might be using some kind of multi-symbol EA by looking at their track record. Let me show you how. So as you probably know already, traders on the Darwin X platform can publish their trading strategies as a Darwin as part of the Darwin asset class. And these Darwins can then attract investor capital with the traders earning a success fee for any profit that the investors make through those Darwins. And there's a wide range of metrics that are published about each of these in order to assist investors in making those decisions. Now, we were talking about the concept of a multi-symbol EA. And although it's impossible to know for sure if traders are using multi-symbol EAs, there are some clues in the metrics. So here we have one particular trading strategy and part of those metrics give you information about how many trades this strategy has open at any one point in time. So you can see there are some times when only one trade is open. So we can see a trade here for pound CAD, one here for dollar yen and euro Aussie. But as you can see, there are other times when you get a long column of trades like here where this strategy has multiple open at the same time. And so here you can see there's probably about 20 trades all open consecutively. So this is usually a good indication that this trader may well be using a multi-symbol EA. But of course, they might actually just have multiple expert advisors all opening individual trades. Also, we can look at the assets and timeframes tab. And this gives you an indication of all of the symbols that have been traded over the last period of time by this trader. So although it doesn't tell you that they were open at the same time, you can see what share each of those assets takes up. So here you can see, for example, that dollar yen represented 5.7% of what this trader traded. Aussie CAD, 3.8%. Here we can see that Euro dollar made up a quarter of all of the trades, Euro New Zealand dollar, pound dollar, and so on. And so again, when you tend to see a lot of symbols like this, that can sometimes be indicative of a trader using a multi-symbol algo. Moving on now to episode two, here I start to look at the concept of custom performance metrics. 
And for those of you that aren't already aware, a performance metric is what you use to measure the effectiveness of different parameter sets in an optimization. And as you know, there are a number of standard metrics that are built into MT5, such as profit factor or expected payoff. But for me, there are issues with the use of almost all of these standard metrics. And I believe in order to perform a really robust optimization, it's necessary to use your own bespoke metrics. Fortunately, MT5 allows you to choose an option called Custom Max. And this option will allow you to develop and use your own metric to your own specific specification. And in this second episode, I show you an example of how to do just this. Then in the third episode, I start to look at techniques that you can use in your expert advisor to ensure that the price data models that you use in the MT5 strategy tester produce like for like behavior with the conditions your EA will experience in live trading. If you don't take steps like these in order to ensure this like-for-like -like behavior, it means that you can't really rely or expect backtest results to be anywhere near what you'll get in your live trading account. And I find it astonishing that sometimes something that's so critical is actually misunderstood by so many. And again, I also get into the actual code examples to ensure that you're testing in a more reliable way by doing what's called controlling bar opening. In episodes four and five, I return to building custom performance metrics and show you some examples that I've actually built for my own use. And then in the episodes that follow, I cover a relatively diverse range of subjects, such as how to use MT5 custom symbols, migrating from MQL4 to MQL5, correctly configuring execution conditions in the MT5 strategy tester, using multi-threaded backtesting to help reduce backtest durations, and much, much more. Now, by clicking the link that you can see above my head now, you can access specific videos in the series and also get access to the whole playlist. And so I really hope you can get some great value from these tutorials. Now, the number of traders who are coming on board to DarwinX continues to grow. And if you want to find out why that is, then you can click on the link highlighted here. And now, until next time, trade safe.